So, Kelly, why don't you catch us up on th- uh, our listener that we um, had a, on a couple weeks ago, and then I'll give you the update. Okay, so her new husband was going to go to dinner with the woman he had an affair with during his first marriage. Mm. Uh, she thought it was risky. He says there's nothing going on, wants to see her again because they were once very close. Okay. So, obviously, our listener was upset, wondering what she should do about it. And, and what did we say? We said to suggest going with them and see what he says. His reaction would really tell her everything on whether it was something to worry about or not. Yeah, yeah. I felt like that was a very solid game plan. Okay, so the update. Hi, Ben and Kelly. Thanks for reaching back out. It's funny that I heard from you because everything went down this past weekend. Oh, boy. So after I heard your conversation, I decided I would suggest that I come along with them. And it could be a double date. She could bring someone and we could all connect and I could get to know her. When I brought this up, he said that wouldn't work because he had to go over to his friend's house first to help him build a deck. Okay, we have to build a deck before dinner? Then... (laughs) Then he was just going to shower there, grab dinner really quickly, then head back to his friend's house to continue helping and might even crash there if they work too late. This guy is... wow. That is... Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a cover story that is. Yeah, so, yeah, you can't come because I got to build a deck. Wait, I, wait! I, did I not tell you I was going to go build a deck and it's like an overnight job? Mm. Did I not tell you that? Did I forget to tell Man, you Man, something this doesn't feel right already. All right. Uh, she continues. Uh, they, uh, it might even crash there if they work too late. This is the first I heard of this plan. Uh-huh. And I pressed him on it, asking how long he's known about this. He got really upset with me and said I was smothering him and that he is just being a good friend and that he can't believe I'm making such a big deal out of it. Okay, he's just being a good friend. Like, everybody, like, spends a night over the friend's house after helping them build a deck and then dash out and have dinner with their ex-lover and then come back and spend the night and have building the deck. Everybody does that. I told him I wasn't making a big deal out of it. I just literally hadn't heard this plan before. And if we're going to be married, we need to learn to communicate with each other. Valid. He got mad. Uh Uh-huh. And said he can't cancel on his friend now because he's counting on him to help. I doubled down and told him that even though I didn't know much about deck construction, I could come help too. Even if it was just to hold things and make them sandwiches. More helpers are always better, right? That's right. I thought I was being very understanding, but apparently still smothering. Oh. I told him I was trying to be trusting, but he was making it difficult and asked him to look at it from my perspective. He said he would trust him. <laughs> oh my God. Are, you, are, you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Um, I would I, trust me. I, I can't handle this guy. I mean, look at my face. Oh my! Totally <laughs> what? What about this face? Doesn't make you want to trust me. <laughs> what oh about God. this story? Is like makes any sense whatsoever? <laughs> wow. Oh, I am. I feel bad for this woman. All right. All right. Oh gosh. Uh, she says I told him I was trying to be trusting. But he was making it difficult and asked him to look at it from my perspective. He said he would trust him and, again, didn't understand why I was making such a big deal of this. Uh-huh. I didn't want to fight, but I knew he was full of crap. And yeah. I told him to have fun and to keep me posted. I can't believe she let him go. I, well, I mean, what else are you going to do? I I, mean, yeah, I don't know. made it obvious that yeah. was going to be the only answer. So now I need to know her plan because you know she wasn't just going to sit home and twiddle her thumbs. Uh, She says, Saturday, he leaves for his friend's house, and I go ahead and call his friend to tell him when my husband gets there, I think he forgot some tools at home they might need. Guess what? His Uh friend had no idea what I was talking about. Busted! Oh, that was genius. Oh, he forgot the tools. Yeah, he didn't even bring the tools to his fake construction job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to have a hard time hammering and 
sawing and cutting and doing he is. manual labor stuff. Uh-huh. She writes, sure enough, he's gone all day and night, gets home on Sunday complaining about how sore he was from helping his friend. Uh-huh. I gave him some ibuprofen and tell him I called his friend. Oh, no. He got red. Yeah, he did, because that's a lie. Then got upset and yelled uh-huh. at me saying he can't believe I checked on him and that I had it all wrong because he was helping out another friend. Oh, no, it was the wrong friend you called. You called the wrong friend. And I had made him look like a fool and like his wife doesn't trust him. Well, yeah, she doesn't because there's good reason. Uh, she says, I know he spent the night with her. I just don't have proof and don't want to fight anymore. We're so new into our marriage, and literally everything was great a month ago. And now, uh, but now I'm seeing this different side of him, and it hurts. Yeah, I can. Un- I can only imagine. I want to trust him and give him the benefit of the doubt, but I just don't think I can. None uh, of us can. I'm embarrassed to leave him so soon into our marriage because people will say marriage quote is work, and I didn't quote try hard enough. Mm-hmm. I know I need to probably leave him, but it seems bad to do it so quickly after we got married. So thanks again for the support, and I'll get through this, but it'll take time. Gosh, I feel so bad oh for her. Oh, my gosh. Because, yes, I can, I can completely understand how she feels. Oh. But she's completely right on what's happening. Chase says Helen Keller could even see the lies in that yes. story. Yes. Uh, Zach, yes. Zach says, oh, Ben, he was hammering, just not a deck. Oh, God. <laughs> Zach, that's inappropriate at this moment. That is not that too soon. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing I'm going to say. I'm going to say, you know what? Uh, I, at this point, I don't care about appearances. I would, I would leave this situation. Th- yeah, th- this absolutely. Is a, this is a guy. Got another text message. It also seems bad for him to cheat. If you're worried about how bad it looks for you to leave a marriage, oh, it, looks, right. it looks bad for him to cheat. Seek counseling and confront him. Like you know, if if you want to walk away feeling like you gave all the effort, do the counseling first. But I don't think this guy is trustworthy. If he did it in the first marriage, and it appears that he's already back in the saddle with the cheating on the marriage with round two. Yeah, yeah, why why didn't he just get together with a fair woman and leave it at that? Like why did he have to bring our listener into this and get married to her when it obvious Maybe it's his ob- lava is married as well. Oh uh, well. Yeah, there's that. All right. Well, hey, sorry that the update is what it is, but I mean literally I would not give this guy another chance. I, and I know it's tough. You you did just get married, but Get get out of that situation. Word to the wise, too, guys. Helping a buddy build a deck is not an <laughs> overnight sleepover job. But, also, if that's your cover story, take your tools. And it's not and it's not something that you literally spring on. Like, no, oh, you yeah. don't. Oh yeah, I, I forgot I, to tell I, you. I, yeah. I'm going to help my friend build a deck. Yeah, no, I'm going to go over to Steve's house, <laughs> and it's going to be a couple of days job we're gonna yeah. we're gonna build a deck okay pretty intense I'm okay try not get out. all right yeah. so anyways hey thank you again for the update sorry uh that it was what it was but girl you're better than him and you made a mistake sorry to say that trust and your instincts trust on your this. gut yep trust your gut